part of free to space to explore the space another place to wander hello my name is Nema and today I will talk about the immunity every single second of your life you are attacked by millions of germs there are four major types of them viruses fungi parasites and bacteria some germs are helpful but in this video we will show interest in the bad ones so your body follows three steps to get rid of germs, which are detecting, deflecting and destroying. And that is what we call the immune system. Thanks to this ladder, you can protect yourself from, well, dying. The body is equipped with two natural barriers to defend itself. The physical barriers like the skin and the chemical ones, like saliva, tears and nasal secretions. You need to understand that there is actually two types of immunity. The innate or non-specific immunity and the adaptive or specific immunity. The non-specific immunity is very rapid because it occurs immediately after the invasion of germs. It's natural, which means the human has it since birth, and it's also not targeted specific species of invaders. Your body can defend itself from infections. Isn't it mind-blowing? Imagine it's a wonderful morning, you're making your breakfast and suddenly you cut yourself. That's an infection. Among it features the redness, the heat, the pain and the swelling. So the first barrier that will react is your skin. At first, the pathogens, which are germs, enter your injury to multiply quickly and efficiently. They find the right conditions. After a certain period, they begin behaving differently by causing the measures inside the body. It's on that moment when the innate immunity has to intervene. So to fight the pathogens, your white blood cells phagocytes surround them, swallow them and then produce digestive enzymes to destroy them. But when the phagocytes fail in eliminating the pathogens, the adaptive immunity gets activated. It is a slow response with a high selection and it has two different types of responses. The humoral response and cell mediated response. So what is the mediated response? The lymphocytes, which are particular cells, allow the body to remember previous invaders. There are two types of lymphocytes, the cells B and cells T. T cells are activated when a specific phagocyte shows them the nature of the antigen. Then T4 cells get multiplied and differentiate into T4 memory cells that will live a long life and T4 helper that release a particular protein known as enterleukin. T8 cells intercept enterleukin to, to get multiplied into killer T cells that will destroy the antigen and memory T cells. That's the cell mediated response. What's about the humoral response? When an informed B cell recognizes the antigen, it is divided, which leads to the production of many memory B cells and plasma cells by which antibodies are made to destroy microbes. That's what we call the humoral response. Once the invaders die, regulatory T cells send out signals to stop the defense. So be wary, stay healthy to not feel guilty.